and roll. Let's take a look today at an awesome new product by TC Electronic called the Ditto Looper. Before I get started, I want to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in these videos. Also, you can like me on Facebook where you can stay updated with my latest videos. Also, I'm at Total Entertainment in Daytona Beach, Florida. Total Entertainment has a huge selection of guitars, musical instruments, and musical accessories. So let's do a quick unboxing and then I'll get to some of the specs of the product and how to use it. So on the outside you have a nice small package with a little bit of information on the side. And the special thing about this looper they really emphasize is that it's a guitar player's looper made for guitarists by guitarists and they also emphasize the simplicity of it. It's very simple, only has really two controls. Um, and it's a, it's a really cool unit. So open it up and of course you have the looper here. We'll set that aside for now. You have a little TC electronic brochure. A little quick start guide to uh, get you familiar with how to use it. We'll go over that in a little bit. They give you some uh, adhesive pads with, with rubber on it so you don't damage the bottom. And then you get a little, little TC electronic sticker. So let's take a look now at just the looper itself. Uh, you'll see right here, it's a very compact, very sturdy made unit. Uh, you have two very simple controls, the bypass switch, which is a true bypass, as well as the loop level. Um, that basically just lets you control the volume of your individual loops. On this side you have an input and the output on the other side and then you also have two methods of powering the unit. It doesn't come with a power adapter but you can really use any standard uh, 9 volt I believe adapter and it just plugs right in the side right there. So, like I was saying before, the advantages of this is that it's just so simple. Um, they, they wanted to design a unit that was very simple to use, but very effective. Um, let's go over some of the specs. So, it has a true bypass um, and a completely analog uh, dry-through. So, what that means is that it never converts the sound to digital, so that really improves your sound quality. Um, it's it's kind of like a minimalist approach to a looper, but that's very effective because you know what more do you need other than your bypass switch and uh, I mean that's the only thing you really need in the looper. Um, it runs with 24-bit uncompressed audio, so that once again will improve the sound quality, and you'll get the most out of the quality. Uh, it provides five minutes of looping, and that's that's really a lot of time uh, in comparison to uh, just a normal song. So five minutes of looping is a huge amount of time, and what it actually does with those loops is that it saves it in the unit itself. So you can loop something, it will save it, and no matter what you do, you can unplug it, you can take it out, it'll save it and store it in the unit itself so that when you're ready to play again you plug it back in and your loops are still saved on there. Another cool feature is that it allows unlimited overdubs so you can strum along with yourself for however long you want and also I mentioned this before but this bypass is a true bypass so when it's off it's off and that means there's no influence on your tone at all whatsoever so you'll still get to keep the high ends on your guitar. Let's go over now how to use the Ditto Looper. Like I mentioned before, it comes with this quick start guide, and it really runs through the simple steps of using the unit. And it really is that simple, and since there's only one button really to push, uh, you only have one command to do. And once you get the hang of it, it's an extremely effective tool. So basically what this says is you push once to record, push once again to play, and then when you want to overdub, you click the button once more and play it. 
Uh, to undo or redo, you push and hold. And then to redo, you push and hold again. And then to stop or clear, you press twice to stop. And then press and hold to clear the loop. Here's a close-up of the unit to give you a good look around. And I'm not going to give you a test of this only because I don't feel I can give it justice with my playing style since I mostly stick to acoustic. But I would definitely recommend you guys check out some other demo videos on YouTube to get an idea of what this unit can really do. Okay everyone, that's all I got for the Ditto Looper. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it informative. Check out some of my other videos and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Keep an eye out for my videos soon to come and I'll see you next time.